Hi everybody, it's Anastasia. This is a video diary of my trip in Gangwon province in Korea. I'm trying something different, so I hope you like it. For me personally, the only thing I knew about Gangwon Do was that the 2018 Winter Olympics was held there. However, I did see videos and pictures of the province and I was excited to escape the bustling city of Seoul. Our first stop was the Ojukyeon Museum, sorry if I'm butchering it, which is a historical museum that dates back to the Joseon dynasty. Though small, it is a great place to get some peace and quiet or have a picnic with your family or a significant other. There's lots of open space and the weather was perfect in mid-October, not too cold and not hot at all. Oh, and this coffee bread is supposed to be one of their specialties in this area. Our next destination was the skating rink, which I was really excited about because I used to take lessons as a kid, but unfortunately it's been too long since I last done it, so I had a little bit of trouble, but not as much trouble as some other people in my group. I loved that this rink was full of little kids that were at a level 10, while us grown adults were probably from level 1 to 3. <laughs> After skating, we took a pit stop to take a look at the actual Olympic sports arenas. And it was really sad because it was really abandoned and you hear it on the news but seeing it with your own eyes is a completely different story. Oh, look at that. Kangwondo is known for their soft tofu, so we just had to get Sundubu. It was really delicious. After getting stuffed by the soft tofu soup, we all decided to take a walk to the beach, which was only 20 minutes away, but it was also the highlight of my trip. It was so nice and refreshing to see such blue waters and clean sand. You just don't see that in California. This trip to Kangwondo was a perfect way for my fellow students and I to just release our stress due to midterms. And honestly, if they use this peace and quiet and beautiful scenery to advertise their state, I feel like so many people would come here just for that. Apparently the city of Gangneung is dubbed the city of coffee and they have a whole street along the beach just full of coffee shops. We decided to situate ourselves at El Bean and have some of these wonderful cakes. And we just sat on the rooftop, enjoyed life, watched the sunset, and had some cake by the ocean. Look at that view, it was so beautiful. Once we finally reached the end of our day, we went for probably my most extravagant dinner in Korea. We went for some Korean raw fish. It was really good and we got like 15 side dishes, but that was probably because our dish was almost 200 bucks. Well, that concludes my Kangwondo trip, which was actually a project for my digital storytelling class. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it.